Welcome to Verbal Pick Radio, where we give you a verbal image of life, and we are everyday people like to welcome you all to the show. Today's show is about Dante Wright, but yet it's not about Dante Wright, but yet and still, it's about Dante Wright, and also a bigger picture. One, so many black men has been killed by the hands of the fraternal order of police or peace officers, which gives no peace to the black community. Dante Wright was killed, murdered by a police officer who lied and said that she thought she had her taser, but it was a gun. She wanted to prove that she bled blue and that she was on the front lines of the war against black men and women in America. So she felt she was doing her constituents a favor showing that she was down and I'm going to murder me a black man today. They had already went over it. It was already planned out. You're going you're gonna to act like you were going for your taser. You're going to go for your gun. You're going to shoot it. We'll bag you up. You're going to get some paid leave, right? And you're going to go home. Bada bing, bada boom, case out, right? We're going to bag your plate. And there's no way a white person is going to do some major time and get some time behind killing a black person. That's what they thought. But I hate to say that it's a new day. And justice will be served. Now, why do I say that this is not just about Dante Green? Because right. I'm building something up here and I'm making a case, right? I want you all to get familiar with Elijah McClain, right? Now, this is August 24th of 2019. Elijah McClain was 23 years old. He was walking home after buying some tea at a local convenience store, according to Elijah's family. Elijah, who was anemic, preferred to wear a ski mask to keep his face warm while he was walking. Right. The Aurora Police Department received the call of a suspicious man. Wait. So a black man, either you're going to be suspicious, right, suspect, suspicious suspect, same thing, right? Because you're black. Or they're going to call you uh, an animal, right? Or they're going to see you as non-human. Now, this is in, in their warped thinking. We don't see ourselves as that, and a lot of people don't see us as that, but in their warped thinking, they created this negative narrative towards black people, and they use negative terminologies to describe us so they can justify whatever harm or actions that they plan to do to us. We know that game. It's nothing new, right? Okay. Okay. The Aurora Police Department received the call of a suspicious man. This call resulted in Elijah's death. After the McLean family requested the body cam footage from the officers on the scene, it was reported that in the footage, now, Elijah McLean, he is laying on the ground vomiting. Right. So that means uh, there's some ailment there. He's not feeling well. He is begging now. He is saying, I can't breathe, just like George Floyd, just like Eric Garner. Can't breathe. Right. One of the officers says, eh, don't move again. Wait a minute. He's vomiting. He's telling you he can't breathe. Right. And the only compassion, only sympathy that comes from the officer is, don't move again. So now, Elijah McClain, who's vomiting, he can't breathe. He's looking for some type of uh, comfort. Has to play in his mind the words of the officer, don't move again. Which will send a shock to anyone when you're in such pain. You're looking to relieve that pain. And then the person that's applying the pain telling you don't move and is applying more pain. Right. Officer says... One of the officers says, don't move again, right? It's like, wait, what do you mean don't move again? You're killing me here. 
If you move again, I'm calling in a dog to bite you. That's the response this young man's got. I'm calling in a dog to bite you because I don't see you as a human being. I don't see you as my equal. I don't see you as a fellow American. I don't see you as white. So you're not going to get any of the privileges that a white person would get from me, a white officer. Matter of fact, I'm going to kill you. Right. When the paramedics arrived, they administered a dose of ketamine to the already unconscious Elijah to sedate him. He was pronounced dead August 27, 2019, at only 23 years old, of a heart attack. Right. Now, look here. Denver 7 News stated they couldn't determine whether McLean's death was an accident, was due to natural causes, or is a homicide related to the police department use of a carotid hole or carotid hole. Wow. The officers on the scene were placed on temporary leave. However, they are back in the field with no charges. That is the picture of America. Right. Now, why do I relate Dante's right murder with Elijah McClain. Why do I do that? Well, one, both are seen as black men in America. One drop. Now, Dante Wright's mother is white, but that don't mean nothing to racist. They see that black in him, they gonna kill you anyway. You gotta get that through your head. So black people leave that, 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 Colorism alone. Don't nobody give a damn how light you is or how dark you is in America. That in white folks' eyes, you still a nigga. Shit don't matter. So you got to get over the, the 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 colorism, man. It it it's sickening. Don't nobody give a damn if you uh half white, light, bright, yellow, red bone, black bone. None of that. It that is played out, right? Who gives a damn, right? You get murdered in the streets of America, regardless. So, you got to understand that. Two, Elijah McClain was an exceptional, exceptional both student. He worked at an um, animal shelter. He played the violin. He wasn't sagging. Uh, he wasn't throwing up any gang signs. Uh, he, he wasn't a gangster. Any of those terms didn't fit Elijah McClain. But prepare yourself because you will see a video of Dante Wright smoking a joint in a video, waving a gun. Right? That scares white folks. And anybody that puts a video out there in white America, if they're black, even if you got one drop, they feel like you deserve that. Right? But I brought up the Elijah McClain murder by the police to show you that you can have a three-piece suit on you can be in some Tim's you can smoke a joint wave a gun uh you can uh you can have some uh uh some loafers on dressed casual you can have a, a bachelor's degree you have a doctorate degree you could have uh you could have been a felon been a convict could be a gangbanger. It don't matter in the eyesight of America. You're black and they're key just for that. So when people say, oh, look what he was wearing. Oh, his pants were sagging. Oh, he had a suit on. Oh, he didn't put his hands out the window quick enough. Uh, he didn't say yes, sir, to the officer. Uh, he had his music up too loud. He had his music up too low. He should have had a concealed handgun license. He had a concealed handgun license. I mean, name it, they shooting you down in the streets. Don't matter. So when they show the imagery of Dante Wright uh, with a pistol and smoking a joint, that's no justification for killing someone. 
having a $20 bill, whether it was real or fake, is not enough reason to murder someone. Riding with expired license tags, especially during COVID, when the system is so bagged up, you have to wait months to get a, a, a an appointment to even get your um, tags. It's not a reason to murder someone. Right. Or mace someone. Or tase someone. Or shoot someone in the back when they're trying to get the hell away from you. Or get upset when a black person tells you, man, it's dark. I'm not stopping on a dark road when police pull me over. I got to drive somewhere to a, a lighted area, a well lit area. I'm trying to protect my life. I know you. We know you kill black people. Right? So once again, when they try to bring um, photos and videos, and try to say that this young black man was trying to live a thug life and and this young black man was in college and this, it don't matter. They're killing you for anything simply because you got that drop. So what's the thing to do, black and brown people? Right? Why are we so divided? Brown people in America been through just as much as black people. Black people been through enough as brown people. As a matter of fact, if you go back in time, right, we are family anyway. But that master deceiver knows the art on how to divide and conquer. And he used this skill to where we fight each other. And it's I mean, I, I can. That's another subject for another day because I can go on about that. But we're gonna stick to the topic. Dante Wright, right? And this George Floyd case is. I mean, you gotta watch this. Things are changing, right? People are being fed up. People are tired. George Floyd. You see, the cold police system is on trial. Then, as Solomon said in the Bible, there's nothing new under the sun. If you look at the witnesses that the defense team brought in, um, you'll see, especially the one they had today, the so-called doctor, you'll see that he started off on code, towing the Torn the party line against uh, of of racism by sticking on code, staying on code, and lying, basically. Right, that uh, uh, Derek Chauvin was in his rights to use the force that he used, uh, even though uh, George Floyd was handcuffed and bound trying to say that he was still presenting a low level of risk. That goes back in time whenever a black person was on trial and they all got up there and just lied. All of, and they all stuck together. All of them was up there, would get up there and just lie, wouldn't tell the truth because they were not going to do anything to see a white man uh, put behind bars. Right. But today is a new day. Believe me, they arrested the female officer, Kimberly Potter, who murdered Dante Wright. And Derek Chauvin is on his way. Right. Because time dictates it, that justice has to be served. There's no way around it. One of the reasons is that we as black people, we tried everything. We tried being humiliated by white people. We've been called nigger by white people for, for hundreds of years. Uh, systemic racism, uh, being lied upon, having our creativity stolen and putting a white face on it. I mean, we took everything, right? But the only reason why we took it, not that we was afraid, you know. Well, one, one reason is that we had adopted their religion and their white Jesus. That don't work for us. Another reason why we took it is because we were leaning on their 
goodwill, hoping that they would see the error in their ways and would uh, one day finally accept us as their brothers and sisters, right, in the human family, right? And as time went on, we started noticing, you know what? Maybe we're the fools. Maybe they'll never see us as their equals and their brothers and sisters. Because they're showing us better than they can tell us. Because they keep killing us. And then they come with these lame excuses, right? Then they go to court and you got people testifying to these lame excuses. It's like, come on, man. Right, do you, unless, you, unless they think that this still is 1700s, 1800s and... We're not educated. We can't think for ourselves, and we still, man, and y'all. I don't know, sir. Whatever you say, boss. I mean, maybe they think we still in. I don't know. If that's if they believe that, then they have the psychosis. Something wrong with you. Time has changed, right? You know, we mastered the Egyptian language. We mastered our native tongue. And it took us a while to master the English language because it wasn't our native tongue. And so we're mastering it. We're mastering your books. We're mastering your libraries, technology, information highway. And we're saying, wow, is this how you all see us? Even though we don't present ourselves as such, and is this the narrative that you want to see us in that you created and you created the script and we act and played the part, but it was just an act and a part it wasn't who we were. It was this how you have to be in order to fit in this American society. But we after a while, we realized the joke was on us because we didn't have to act certain ways to fit into American society. Huh. All we, had, all we had to do was accept our own and be ourselves. Why? Because God, the creator of God, created us and this planet and the land and everything you see around us. So if you're going to please someone, please the God. You want favor in his sight, not man's care if the you don't care for race or the colonizer or the white man whatever term you want to use you shouldn't give down whether they accept you or like you or not you're not on this planet living your life for him you living your life for who created you so I just wanted to prepare you all because sometimes you know We've been so brainwashed and a lot of us so scared that as soon as they show a negative image of someone, we get the kid, we start condemning and judging and jumping on their side. You know, see, you shouldn't act like that. You shouldn't do so and so. Man, it don't matter. We can show you cases of black men being uh, uh, drugs planted up on. And he's in a suit working for a, 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 a car company, right, in Detroit. Planted drugs on a man. Pulled him over because he's in a brand new Cadillac. You know, so many different cases of, of brothers and sisters getting killed. Teachers and people who was loved in the community. And, you know, and the police comes and just snuff them out. Some pants sagging. Some smoking a joint waving gun. Some just walking down the street. Some just in a three-piece suit just trying to make it home. I mean, we can go on and on and on. Petty little crimes and black people getting took out. And some people saying, well, you know, if you hadn't been doing that, then that wouldn't have happened. You know, it's like, when you saying that I can't supposedly be on the corner and if I sell a loose cigarette for a dollar or less, that's worth me being murdered. I'm driving home in my vehicle and 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 COVID-19 is present so there's a backup and getting my license tags you saying that's a reason for me to be murdered I'm walking home like Elijah McClain getting an iced tea I got a mask over my face cuz I'm anemic 
It's cold outside. I'm in Colorado, for God's sake. I'm being called suspicious, and that leads to my death. And this is America. We better wake up and realize what's going on. Look, and now as hard as it may be, watch the George Floyd trial. And the reason being is because more so I want you all to look at terminologies. I want you to look at how certain words are being used because they use all that against you. You got to learn the system. You got to learn uh, the etymologies of words. You got to learn how words are being used, how certain things are being said, and you will hear one side say, uh, I object. You got to know why they objecting because the way they phrase that sentence or that term could be misleading. You know, that's, those are, are tools that will save your life. So everybody get involved and and study this thing from a scholarly viewpoint as if you're going to school. Verbal Pick Radio, we're up.